In this video lecture, we are going to see about the structure vacuum that have been present commonly there in certain plants as well as in certain microorganisms. Vacuole is a membrane bound organelle that is present in the plants, certain fungal cell and some proteins in certain animals and bacterial cells also vacuoles can be found. An organelle having a similar function and commonly distributed in most of the eukaryotic organisms is lysosomes. Vacuoles are essentially enclosed, enclosed compartments that are filled with water containing inorganic, organic molecules, sugar and various enzymes. So, the following are the various functions of the vacuoles. It includes isolating material that might be harmful or threat for the cell. You can able to see the structure of the vacuole here. The blue color thing is the vacuole and a very light covering of the blue is the membrane of the vacuole which is called by a special term called as a tonoplast. So tonoplast refers to membrane of the vacuole. The vacuole found to contain waste products. They maintain the internal hydrostatic pressure or turgor pressure within the cell. They play a role in maintaining an acidic internal pH of the cell. The vacuole found to contain certain small molecules and they are playing a role there in exporting the unwanted substances that have been present there in the cell. Next we are going to look at the various type of vacuoles. What are the different types of vacuoles that have been present there in the living organism? Food vacuoles. Food vacuoles are those that are formed mainly during the process of phagocytosis. The next one is a contractile vacuole. They are present in freshwater protists, that is in certain protozoa lives in freshwater. The contractile vacuole play role in pumping the excess water that has entered inside the cell. Thereby, they will be maintaining an appropriate concentration of salts and other small molecule inside the cell. The next kind of a vacuole is gas vacuole or gas vesicles. This kind of vacuoles are commonly come across in the microorganism, especially in certain cyanobacteria. This gas vesicles or vacuole helps in providing buoyancy to float on the surface of the water column. It enables them to position themselves correctly in a stratified water column and to efficiently use the oxygen as well as sunlight that have been reaching there in the water. Next vacuole is a central vacuole. So, the central vacuole is the one we have seen there in the image. This is a central vacuole. It is present there in the central region. So, it is called as a central vacuole. Central vacuole is present mostly in the mature plant cells. Generally, it has been enclosed by a membrane, endomembrane, which is referred by a special term called tonoplast. Tonoplasts are also involved there in the selective transport of certain solute molecules inside. The last paragraph is related with some kind of central vacuoles that have been come across or noticed there in certain kinds of bacteria, especially certain filamentous sulfur bacteria like Thioplaca, Bijotova and even Thiomargareta. Thiomargareta is the name of a bacteria. It's the largest bacteria currently available in the world is Thiomargareta namibiensis. The cytoplasm of this organism are extremely reduced and the vacuole is the one which occupies the most regions of the cytoplasm that is up to 40 to 98 percentage of the cell will be occupied by the vacuoles. As I already told a group of sulfur bacteria, these sulfur bacteria are commonly present in the sediment regions. So in the sediment regions in order to facilitate the growth of this particular bacteria they need to have a high concentration of nitrate ions. That is nitrate ions are stored there in this vacuole like organelle in order to aid in anaerobic respiration which is a common phenomena taking place there in the sedimental based growth of this particular bacteria. In animal cells also I have told that some vacuoles are involved. Actually they used to have a another term called vesicle also. They will be performing mostly a subordinate roles that is in assisting large process of exocytosis as well as the endocytosis.